In this question, we're trying to figure out what the volume of a golf ball is. And we know that two people are golfing, Joe and Ray, and someone had stepped on someone else's ball. So if we have the ground here, right, this would be the ground, and we know that there's going to be a ball that was stepped on and squished it all the way down to the ground. So there's going to be um, a hole in the ground made, right? And this is totally rough draft, not to scale, not even that great. But imagine that this is the ground, someone's foot came down, pushed the ball into the ground, and that's what we have. Now mathematically, we do know the diameter of the hole. So the hole is going to extend 1.68 inches. So from here all the way to over here, that's going to be 1.68 and it's inches. Now we're hoping there's not going to be any space between the side of the ground right here and the ball. I know that there's a little bit of a gap right here on my drawing, but let's just assume that the edges of the golf ball are hitting the, the, the walls of the hole that I created. So then we could assume that the diameter of the golf ball is going to be 1.68 inches. And if we know that the golf ball is a sphere, then we could use the formula for volume of a sphere. And there we have it. So now we have to plug in, well, the only thing we have to actually plug in is the radius, right? Because um, it's 4 over 3 times pi times radius cubed. And we know the diameter is 1.68, so that's the full length of the sphere. Well, half of that is going to be 1.68 divided by 2, 0 0.84. So then I can plug that in for my radius. So the volume is going to be equal to 4 over 3 times, and we'll use the approximation for pi. We'll use 3.14 times the radius, which is 0 0.84 and we're going to cube that. And if we calculate all that, we're going to get a volume of roughly 2.48, and because that's in inches, we're going to do 2.48 inches cubed. And actually, I should get rid of the equal sign there. This is going to be an approximation. So I'm going to use an, my approximation sign there. So the volume of this golf ball is going to be about 2.48 four eight inches cubed. In this question, Jesse owns a baseball with a famous signature on it, and she wants to store it, and she wants to put it in a clear cube case, right? She's found one online, and the only thing that she knows about it is that it's going to be 20 inches, I'm sorry, 20 cubic inches in volume. Uh, well, she does have the diameter of her own baseball, which is about 2.9 inches and she could find the volume of her baseball. As long as it's uh, smaller than the volume of the container, then she's good to go. So I'm going to pull up the formula for a volume of a sphere because that's what a baseball is. That formula is going to be 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. Now, we don't have the radius, but we do have the diameter. And the diameter is 2.9, so if we cut the diameter in half, divide it by 2, we'll get the radius. And that's going to be 1.45 inches. Now we could take this radius and plug it in for R in the formula for volume. So I'm going to do that. So a volume will equal 4 thirds times, we'll use the approximation of pi, so we'll use 3.14. And then we're going to take 1.5 I'm sorry, 1.45, which is the radius, and we're going to cube it. And if we calculate that, it's going to give us a volume of about 12.76 inches cubed. So this is the volume that her baseball takes up, and if she's trying to buy something that has uh, 20 cubic inches of volume, she should be good to go.